everyone, today we're looking at this Cherry Mouse. It's the MW4500 and it's wireless and ergonomic. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at this DW4500. It's made by Cherry and in basics it's an ergonomic wireless mouse which is to prevent wrist strain by having the base of the mouse curved at like sort of a 45 degree angle so that will obviously put less strain on your wrist because obviously your bones won't be crossing like that because obviously your bones in your uh, arm and wrist cross when you do that you have it like that so it's more of a natural uh, angle so it obviously causes less strain on your actual wrist other key features on this are the free level adjustable resolution it's got a status LED for low battery charge. It's got six buttons and a scroll wheel. It's pleasant to touch apparently. And it's got a extra small nano receiver. But let's have a look at the box, see what we've got. So the front of the box is pretty straightforward. You can see the mouse itself it looks a little bit strange compared to a normal mouse. It says cherry on the side of the mouse. Uh, and then you've got the nano receiver uh, which is there which just sticks out generally usually about half a centimeter or a centimeter from a USB port so ideal for laptops and stuff like that um, and it says under there nano USB receiver on the rest of the box if you look at the size you can see there another image of the mouse the other side shows you basically the other side of the mouse the bottom you've got your basic information about uh, all the branding and stuff like that and you've got your barcodes at the top on the back of the box it tells you all about the information and the special features uh, and you've got that in um, a few different languages as well okay let's open this box up see what we've got so first thing I see is what looks like the manual there so yeah you've got the manual so I'm guessing it tells you all the information there. So you've got a quick start guide uh, and then you've got all your different languages as well. So not a lot of it is in English but you've got a few different languages there if you need them. Also in the box we've got some bubble wrap and some batteries. And yeah, if you've not seen one of these mice before, they do look a little bit strange. But believe it or not, they do what they say on the tin. They do reduce strain on your wrists because of that angle. Um, it does include batteries. Unfortunately, they are... Uh, they're not like Duracell, but they are GP alkaline batteries. Um, so not top of your range, but it should be more than adequate uh, there. So let's have a look. It's quite light, actually surprisingly light and as you can probably see it slides around and moves very easily you can probably hear the clicky noise the wheels pretty much silent the buttons aren't silent on there uh, but they're good enough for office use and so forth they shouldn't be too distracting okay so let's have a look at the measurements and so forth first thing to note is the batteries are treble a size so that's a a a not double a um, the price or the recommended retail price for this is 30 uk pounds obviously may vary in different locations right so let's have a look at the size of it so again it's not an easy one to measure because of the shape of it uh, but height wise you're looking around about just over 12 centimeters width you're looking at roughly seven and the actual depth you'd be looking around about six and a half the packaging itself let's have a quick look at that so the height of the packaging is just a fraction over 12 centimeters the width is nine and the depth is roughly 7.7 .7 centimeters 
There is no hangy hook on this or anything like that, so however you're going to have to stack it on your shelves, you're going to have to stand it up or lay it down or whatever. So it would have been nice to uh, have a hangy hook if uh, anyone did decide to sell these in a retail store. That uh, makes things a little bit easier. Uh, batteries, obviously, straightforward. As I said, they are treble A batteries. If for any reason you want to know what size they are, they work out just over four centimeters. Um, so that gives you a rough idea, and it does require two. The nano receiver is here. Just to give you an idea of the nano receiver, what sort of size it is. So the black bit, what sticks out, is roughly around about six, maybe seven millimeters. The whole size of the thing is two centimeters, and the width works out at roughly 12, 13 millimeters. Obviously, when you've got this in a USB port, the only bit you're going to see sticking out is the black bit there. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this. So you've got your left and right mouse button there you've also got what looks like a dpi switch there you've also got your wheel which has also got a build a button built into it and then you've also got another two buttons on the side a lot of people use them for like backwards and forwards and stuff like that so you can see the different buttons it's got there uh, doesn't seem to be any other buttons visible no uh, on the bottom Obviously you've got all your manufacturer information on there, you've got an on and off switch there, you've got your sensor and you've got your four pads there which obviously it's going to slide on. Uh, the batteries go in this area here, so if I flip that open you'll also see the nano receiver in there, so that's held in there, so obviously you plug that into your PC. Your batteries go in, pretty straightforward. and then put the bottom back on. So that's all in there, so it's pretty straightforward. Nothing seems to light up other than the little LED light on the side there. So that just lets you know there's power. So let's just plug this in just to see. So let me put the nano receiver in our PC over here and just make sure it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So that's plugged into the PC, and yes, I can see that's basically moving around and works absolutely fine. As I said before, buttons might be a little bit clicky depending on what you're used to. Um, it's not what I'd class as silent, and it will take a bit of getting used to. Um, I really have to give it a good squeeze to get those fun buttons going. So uh, it does seem a little strange, but then again, I have got quite big hands, uh, bigger than the average person. So obviously, when the average person have got these, the fingers aren't going to be uh, hanging over the edge as much. But yeah, so it seems very good, it feels good. Um, DPI option is good, and that seems to work with all the different settings. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to press the subscribe button over here. That way you'll get all the latest news and all the reviews we do on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.